our view of you this morning. Let's uh, get on to business now. In the world of business, we hear that the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria has threatened to embark on an industrial action on Monday over the poor welfare of its members in the shipping sector. Now, the development has forced some operators in the maritime sector to kick, saying the proposed shutdown would affect their businesses, their business operations. The President General of the Union, Adewale Adinyoju, while briefing journalists at its head office in Apapa on Thursday, explained that the group would embark on the strike action over the failure of the management of shipping companies to discuss and negotiate the welfare and condition of service of its members in the shipping sector. Now, according to Adinyoju, shipping companies have failed to cooperate with the workers' union despite several interventions and meetings to have an amicable resolution of the unresolved welfare issues of their members in the shipping sector. Now, he did say that several meetings culminated in the issuance of a seven-day ultimatum after the expiration of a 14-day ultimatum issued to the shipping companies. Adeoju further added that owing to the unwillingness of the shipping employers to negotiate minimum standards and conditions of service for its members in the shipping sector, the union was left with no option but to resuscitate the earlier seven-day ultimatum issued to the shipping employers in the sector. Moving on to another business story now. Um, the Naira closed at 461.76 Kobo per dollar. Uh, 461 Naira, 76 Kobo to a dollar at the investors and exporters window on Thursday. A 16 Kobo drop from 461 Naira, 60 Kobo uh, traded in the previous session. Now, this slight drop came amid a viral story claiming that the Central Bank of Nigeria had devalued the Nigerian currency to 630 Naira per dollar. The CBN has since denied the claim, labeling it as fake news. In a statement signed by its acting director, Corporate Communications, Issa Abdul Mumin, the CBN said they wish to state categorically that this news report, which in the imagination, of the newspaper is exclusive, is replete with outright falsehood and destabilizing innuendos, reflecting potentially willful ignorance of the said medium as to the workings of the Nigerian foreign exchange market. All right, so uh, they have said it's fake news. And yes, if, if they say it's fake news, then we we'll wait and see, you know, what, uh, what they come up with uh, much, much later. Now, this is what we will come up with right now as we go into entertainment. I have uh, joining me Kayla and Chioma. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, good Moses. Morning, Moses. And good morning, Chioma. Good morning, Kayla. So what's happening in the world of entertainment? Uh, right. In the world of entertainment, we're going to start with the music industry. Uh, Nigerian Afrobeat star Kiss Daniel has confirmed the birth of a third son and his status with his fiance. Oh, okay. Yes. He made this known in a tell-all interview on a podcast in America. He said, and I quote, I have three sons now. Hmm. When asked about his engagement to his fiancé, you know, one time, yes, he replied and said, Jesus is Lord. And God <laughs> will always be on the throne. Nothing All happened. Right. Life happens. And the musician also mentioned that his kids are good and healthy. And all kids from the same lady? Yes. So if you recall, because Daniel welcomed triplets in 2021, Jamil, Jalil, and Jelani with his mystery lover, but later lost Jamal after okay. four days of birth. Okay. But now he has a third son. Yes, a third son. But he's not really, wow. you know, made mention what's oh. going of the, yeah, the mother of the child, but he just made us understand that. He, oh, so the girl in the picture, is that, is that not that, that, that was That was, that was the, the ex-fiancé. That's the ex-fiancé, oh, okay. yes. The ex-fiancé. Yes, so what oh, do you have to say about this? I, you know? I want to start from where he was asked about, you know, his status with fiancé and saying Jesus is Lord. That's not the answer to the question. Right. <laughs> like, Jesus is on the throne. We know. <laughs> that is not the answer to the question. The answer to the question is a, we are together or we're no longer together. Either of that. What is your status with your fiancé? Is your dress white? But he, 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 he said Jesus he is Lord. But how? He said life happens. So, basically, he tried to just 
Kona, Kona, tell us that. See, Maya is one person who, who has kids. Has a, well, he had a lady that was his, his fiance for the longest mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And he said, categorically, yeah. that he wasn't ready to get married. But he was ready to have kids by the same one lady. Person. Yeah. And she would stay a fiance. So that, that can be a decision. Oh, nice. I just, <laughs> right. I just hope it's a decision that's by mutual consent. Because oh. that's what's most important. You don't keep someone and lead them on. Let them believe that you believe what they believe but when you have a different belief. Yeah, but you know, the thing is, we don't know who I this, see what you did there. I see what you did there. We do not know who this mystery love is. So it's good for, I think it's good for her. So she could just stay in hiding and nobody yeah. knows what she's going through. In anonymity. Yes. What she's anonymity. going through. Yeah. Like she's going through what something. What if she, you don't know what if she's not happy now. <sighs> okay. To, yeah. I yeah. hope she okay. is though. I hope they are though. Um, yes, I hope they are. That is it. Okay, moving on to, to another star. music star, yes. Maven Saini, and sensational artist uh, Rema has a number four spot on the top 10 Billboard Hot 100 charts this week with his hit single remix, Calm Down with the sensational that song has um, been going. American female pop artist Selena, Selena Gomez. Gomez. That song has been going higher and higher. Right, it, it must, honestly. It must this week. Just to put it out there, he's the only Nigerian artist on the chat for this week. He even knocked off um, 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 whiz, whiz, Whiskey. Yes. I mean, he Whiskey, there we go. Top five he and, and he's at the number four spot. I think that is a, a really, really great feat, you know. He's been doing great music and also not holding back on collaborating with foreign stars yeah. and artists. And that is one thing. When you listen to a song, you're like, this song is so good. It does not need a remix. It doesn't need a refix. Why are they doing right. this? There is a reason for that collaboration. Mm -hmm. They're trying to make the song reach a wide our audience. Rema has now broken into the Indian market and we know that the Indian population oh, yes, he has. play. So right now <laughs> we're has? His, he has. he's been in India. He's they, literally, they literally he's call been him very Rima. Rima. <laughs> yeah. You know, performing, they were singing Calm Down to him back um, word for word. And mm. it's really great. These are people that have, you know, one thing many people always believe works for Nigerians is our population. And mm. India's population is like oh, five times. That. Uh, what we have so here in if he's breaking into that market, we'll expect his streams to skyrocket. Mm. And uh, I just think he's making strategic moves that other people need to emulate as True. well. You know, True. he came out and he threw a jump. For those of you saying, when I sing, I sound Indian. Well, now <laughs> I've gone to my home Now I've gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and it was a great one for me. I think it was a great one having Selena Gomez on this. Because people saw the song, I was like, Selena Gomez? Mm -hmm. How would she fit in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now look at where it is getting to. Like, number four? It's honestly, no joke. It's and honestly, no joke. she really tried. Because you know that that's not her genre. That's, that's not, not just her, her genre, kind of song. Yeah. But she was able to input herself into you know, it. Into, into it. And it's yes. been doing really well. I'm, I'm glad for Rema. I'm One happy for him. I'm happy for him. He's he's doing Gen good Z. for himself. You know, I'm, I'm standing for the yeah, Gen Z he, he they are. people. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, but that's I mean, shout out to Rama. We're happy for him. Okay, okay. let's move into the movie industry, Nollywood. Yes, yeah, so Nollywood okay. actress Cha Cha, A.K. Fanny, and husband Austin Fanny has reconciled a year after publicly ending their marriage. <laughs> okay, so the couple took to their Instagram pages to celebrate their tenth wedding anniversary. On June 1st, yes, this is coming approximately a year after the actress publicly declared that she's done with the marriage and also hinting alleged domestic violence. And mental health yeah. problems. She literally yeah. opened the page to be posting mental health awareness and get... there's a way someone will post and you'll be asking yourself, is What's everything okay? Yeah. You know, is everything okay? Today the... she's coming out and looking really good and saying <laughs> everything is fine. And the next day, there are just indications that there's something going on in this person's head. Right. And just not. And this straight. is not the first time this has happened with the separation thing publicly. Okay. Yeah, so the first the time it started before. off October 2020. Okay. And, you know, she came out, she was announcing she's done. Like, and like uh, Chema mm -hmm. said, the whole mental health thing, hinting, alleged domestic Without actually violence, giving details. Details, mm. you know. And then she got to get back to. Him and like, oh, we are good now. Then June 28, 2022. Well, I hope, I hope all is well with her, though, uh, because if you're citing domestic violence and right. you're leaving and coming back, leaving and coming back, then then uh, you should see you, you should see a psychiatrist. Or um, a marriage counselor. No, she should see a psychiatrist, actually. Something is wrong somewhere. You know, some people like the, the violence, to be honest with you. Some people okay. like the violence. They complain of it, 
they complain about it, but they actually like it, so they go back to it. Well, I, I hope that's not the case with her. I hope, uh, I hope it's not the case with her. I hope that she should, you know, if she can face her truth. If she can face My her truth. My thing is, I'm going to go back to what you said, Moses. Okay. Speaking of putting your relationship in the public. Should okay. we start there? Because you know you Should did mention... start or stop there? Okay. No, I said we need start to start not there. Doing... Like, okay. No, by not doing that, because you mentioned that during this week. If okay, I remember. Uh, yes. Yes, yes I... and... You know, this, this I think that's also one of the issues or one of the factors affecting this relationship. Because okay. if you're so quick to just go on the internet, okay. oh, oh, no, 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 no. when do you even have the time to that. come together, and try talk. to get, yes, try to get a solution, try to then see if you need extra help, like Honestly, you mentioned. I get what you mean. And for me, I think you should solve your issues before coming out to say it's this or that. Certain private things, uh, private moments, intimate things that we don't need to know. Yeah, yeah we don't. And if you don't tell us, we will not know. But if All domestic right. violence is involved, then <laughs> need she needs help. She needs domestic help. Violence. Okay, let me just put this out there. I, I hope we know there's been rumors about them, about Chacha Ike herself dealing with the, the bipolar. Oh. And that's what yes. I said about opening a different yes. Instagram oh. account. <laughs> yes. so if you see the post on that Instagram account, you will, you will just have to ask You see why I say she needs help. She right. needs psych, you know, a psychiatric help. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's, let's get on. Still um, on the movie industry, um, Broken Marriages, a <laughs> veteran mm. Nigerian um, Nollywood actress Shafi Bello has also opened up about the factors that led to the end of a 25-year marriage. 25 years. I mean, Shafi. what happened? Yes. There are people whose life, whose um, Is this Shafi whole life... from Love Me Jeje, Love yeah, Me Tender? Uh, Shafi, Shafi Bello. The Bello, same Shafi the same Bello. Shafi Bello. Classy Shafi Bello. Very classy, same with one. a great charisma, yes. I always say, if you want to learn class, there are three people you should go to. In um, the industry. Irriti Doyle. Oh, yeah, definitely. Irriti Doyle, Shafi Bello. Definitely. And uh, I can't remember the third person, but yes, Sh she's... She's one of them. I have and, somebody you know, in mind, but I will not talk for I will not speak for you. <laughs> in a recent um, interview, she cited difficulties of maintaining a long-distance relationship as the primary cause for the split. She also okay. disclosed that her estranged husband, Mr. Akiri, I, I hope I got that right, um, resided in the United States, which created a significant challenge in their marital life, constantly traveling back and forth between countries, took a toll on their relationship, prompting her to make the difficult decision to seek a divorce. She acknowledged that her ex-husband is a devoted father to their children, but expressed her desire for something more in her personal life. You know, she recognized that pursuing her ambitions meant making sacrifices, but the physical distance between them proved insurmountable. She also admitted that coping with the situation became increasingly challenging, ultimately leading to difficult decisions to end the marriage. Wow. 25 years, that is a long time. To be oh. with someone, and I'm wondering how many of those 25 years were actually spent together physically. If they right, because from what she what she said, right, like we didn't they didn't have time to mm. really connect and bond, and you know, having to go back and forth, back, back and, and forth. forth. Well, the truth of the matter is, it's uh, well, it's it's her truth, and um, we can only but support her if she's moving away from the marriage now, and uh, and she's citing long distance. At least it's better she makes it public that she's seeking a divorce. So when we see her with another man, we will not we say, oh, she's sure, cheating. Sure. Because, I mean, she has needs. Everybody has, has needs. You know, so if the divorce is granted, she can then go ahead and leave her life. It doesn't matter if it's been 25 years or, or, or years. 30 years. years is a long make time. yourself happy. It's make yourself happy. Oh, that, I like it. That some people would I say. Here. Would I say that some people's lifespan, that some people's age, that some people's time of experience, you know, 25 years is a long time. So what would you advise, really? Oh, Stay on? Honestly, honestly, like you said, this is her truth. Yeah. And if you can't cope with something anymore, it's better to just step out the door than to be one leg in and one leg out and allowing the ants and the mosquitoes and cockroaches to, you know, creep in <laughs> in different forms. It's All right, better, then. like you said, to just... Say, uh, Do we have any more stories? I hope, I hope she's happy, though. I hope she's happy. Yes. Just okay. One more story. Final one. Yes, All right. Final. Go ahead. Let's so have it. So this is about our cookathon queen. Yes, our own. <laughs> our own. Hilda. Hilda. We are still Guinness waiting. We're still waiting, and uh -huh. we're wondering what's happening. Yeah. You know. So Hilda. Waiting for what? For her what? Yes. For yes, her record. She has not been recognized. She has not been recognized yet. She's been refreshing her meal every hour, waiting for the meal to, you know, confirm that she's the latest Guinness 
world record holder for the longest cookathon ever by an individual. Honestly, Guinness should and not just sell us. It's, it's I not think it funny. takes it takes uh, it takes a while. Maybe uh, it it takes a while. I don't know the duration. Uh, maybe a week, weeks, I mean. a week or two. Or... Um, later, turn down said she waited for about two months. Okay, so it takes okay. a while. Nigerians, really. we don't have that patience. We don't. <laughs> I agree. We don't we have don't that, that patience. patience. All because right. every, I believe that's why she did everything publicly. You know, they could have been following back to back if they were really interested. All this one, they say they are checking evidence. You know, in me, I'm, I'm not interested in that. We need him that to be And it's not going to be funny. Quickly. If they it's, don't give it's, it to it's her. It's not going to be funny. Let me just put it out. Because Nigerians, it's, it's possible that the Nigerians over there will target their office. Well, I'm, you know, I don't think they will go up to the extent of violence. But no, if I know, if, not violence. If, if one thing we know how to do is skill, <laughs> permit me to say, or forgive me to say, vile on social media. You go up, and it's the handler that will suffer it because it's them. <laughs> <laughs> All you right, know. thank you very much, ladies. Uh, Chova Innocence, yeah, yes, yes. and uh, Kayla Abraham, thank, thank you, you very much, much for uh, coming on the program. Yes. Well, this is where we wrap it up on VOP this Friday morning. My name is Moses Humphrey. Uh, do have yourselves a beautiful day and stick around. We have some more programs coming your way. All right, so uh, keep a tab on this, on this channel. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.